Last night was a great night for Ronaldo. He scored when Portugal was playing against Ghana. Another fantastic game. Portugal beat Ghana 3-2, but the African team fought very, very close. Great game also, the African. But why was important for Ronaldo to score that goal? Because Ronaldo became the first player in the history of World Cup to score in five tournament in five World Cups. We are talking about uh, people who scored a lot of goals. The first goal, 1930. You know who it was? It was a French player, Lucien Loren. I didn't know that either. Don't worry. I'm reading that. 1930 for the first goal, and then they scored a thousand two hundred fifty players score a goal during the World Cup. Let's see and know some of them. The first and top scorer of the inaugural competition was Argentina's Guillermo Savilli with eight goals in only four games. And curiously, these eight were the only eight goals Savilli scored in the entire history of his Argentina national team. Since then, 22 players have scored more goals in all the matches played in the World Cup. The first was Hungary's Sandor Karkis, who ranked sixth in the table with 11 goals in five matches in the 1954 edition. In the following tournament, in 1958, the Frenchman Just Fontaine, in the only World Cup of his career, improved his record with 13 goals in only 6 games, having an average goal scoring rate of 2.17 goals per game, ranking number 4. He is followed by Jerry Miller, who scored 10 goals for West Germany in 1970 and broke the overall record when he scored his 14 World Cup goal during West Germany's victory in the 1974 final. His record stood for more than three decades until Brazil's Ronaldo scored 15 goals between 1998 and 2006, the last year when Germany's Miroslav Klose snatched the record with 16 goals. This German striker has had the good fortune of playing in four consecutive World Cups between 2002 and 2014, becoming the top scorer of the World Cup after scoring in the historic seven one traveling the team defeated Brazil in the Mineral Stadium for the semi-finals and then lifting his fourth cup, beating Argentina 1-0 in the final. But we assume missing some innate players and we have a legend who also reached the top of the list of top scorers. We are talking about Kim Pelé, considered by many as the best player in history, winning three World Cups in 1958, 1962 and 1970, in which he scored 12 goals in 14 games which gives him an average of 0.86 goals per game, followed by Georgian Klinsmann with 11 goals between 1990 and 1998. Recognition must also be given to those in the top 10 goals, with Germans Helmut Rehn and Thomas Müller, England's Gary Lineker, Argentina's Gabriel Batidusta, Peru's Joff Lokovillas, and Poland's Giorgio Slato. Other graded reference include Diego Armando Maradona with 8 goals between 19 82 to 1994 World Cups, followed by Cristiano Ronaldo with seven goals between 2006 and 2018. Messi continues with six goals in four World Cups and Neymar with six goals. Let's see if you know the trivia of the day. The question for just if you are just watching us is how many matches did play Maradona during his four career World Cup? The options 18, 15, 21. The answer is 21. Diego Armando Maradona participated in four World Cups, Spain 1982. Mexico 1986, Italy 1990, and USA 1994, lifting the cup in 1986. In his career in World Cups, he played 21 games and scored eight goals. He also reached the final twice. You keep challenging you in social media. We have another question on Twitter at From the Field. It has to do the question also with Diego Armando Maradona today's two years since he passed away. The question is, which club was Diego linked to during the 1994 FIFA World Cup? 1994 FIFA, he was in the USA and that's when he got suspended. 
And the options, Boca Juniors, Barcelona, Napoli, or none? The question, the answer, I gave you the question, the answer is none. He wasn't playing for anything of those. Tomorrow is going to be a fantastic day of soccer. I think one of the most important, Mexico, Argentina. But let's see what other games are playing tomorrow. Team of Group C and D will fight again. In Group D, Tunisia and Australia will face each other. And we will have an interesting match between France and Denmark. On the other hand, in Group C, Poland will face Saudi Arabia as well as two Latin American giants, Mexico and Argentina, will battle on the field. See you tomorrow. We are going to have a special edition. We are going to be from the stadium where Mexico and Argentina are going to be playing. Thank you very much for being with us tonight. It was a fantastic day of soccer. Tomorrow, I think, is going to be even much, much better. Follow us on social media at from the field. See you tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening. Hi everyone. Here Kunas Katrin. I am in here in uh, Qatar in Doha. It's an amazing place. It's uh, the people is amazing and the World Cup is I don't know. It's uh, Impressionate, impressionate, yeah, impressionate. So, uh, come to the World Cup and hello, everybody, and enjoy, enjoy the football and the World Cup from the field. From the field, hello, everyone from the field.